everyone. We have our last ill family word today. So would you please get out your word family book so we're ready to go. We also need pencils. We need our purple punctuation. Space bar. Need that. And would you please take out your red kindergarten crayon or marker, your choice. And let's get started. Okay, so looking at our cover, we know our, our word family for this week is ill. That's right. Okay, opening our book to the first page. Very nicely done. Our word is the word fill. Fill, that's that is it. Okay, reading our sentence together, we have I fill up my cup with, hmm, we decided to write whatever we wanted to fill our cup up with. Do you want some? I don't know. Depends on what's in the cup. Turning to our next page, our word we did on Tuesday was the word, what was it? Will. That's right. How many bugs ooh, will fit in this jar? And you decided in your color in your drawing how many bugs you wanted to put in your jar. How many was it again? Will you tell me how many how many bugs did you decide? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. There's lots of options. Okay, turning to our page that we did on Wednesday. It was our word that has two letters at the beginning to add to our ill family word. It's the word chill. Chill. There is some wind today. It gave me a chill. Burr. And you decided what face you wanted to put on your person. Maybe you added a scarf or a hat, your choice, but it's chilly out. Okay, and our word we did yesterday was the word hill. Okay, and my very, very steep hill. Would you like to walk up the hill or down? If it's going up this way, I would not want to walk up that. Mm -mm. Okay, turning to our last empty page. Would you please write the letters I-L-L -L at the top of your page for our ill family word? I-L-L. -L. Our last word today, oh, before I forget, because I always seem to forget. Will you please write with your pencil, I have my marker, with your pencil, will you please draw a line in the middle of your paper so we're ready for our picture and words and our sentences. Okay, get my marker to close. There we go. We, for our ill family word today, we're again having another one that has two letters before the ill. Hmm. The word today starts with the letters S P. Hmm. S P. Would you listen and whisper to somebody, what word are we writing today? Tell me. Yeah, spill. 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 Would you choose a color, a different color, and write the letters SP in front of your ill. Spill. I chose blue today. Pill should look like this. Sp Ill. Sp Ill. Spill. Okay, getting our pencil ready for our first word in our sentence. This is an easy one. We know this. Our kindergarten word, the. Would you please write the word the as our very first word in our sentence? The. And then our space bar, of course, we need the, oh, right off the bat, we have our ill family word. Would you please write the word that we just wrote on top of our page? 
Oh, what's that word again? Spill. That's right. Spill. 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 The spill. And then our next word. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it on mine, so I'm going to do horizontally. The spill. Our next word is the word made. Made. M. M. Need a M. That's right. M. M. A. May. Mm -hmm. An A. D. 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 That's right. D. If we just had these three letters, M A D, what word would that spell? Mad. That's right. We have to put an E at the end to make the A say its name. M A D. Made. So we have to have that silent E. Made. The spill made A. We know that word. Spacebar, A. The spill made A. Ooh, here's another one. I think we might have. We wrote this word yesterday. Big. B. I. G. This was one of our Ig family words that we did a long time ago. Big. Would you please write the word B? B. Ig. B. I. Mm -hmm. I. G. G. B. I. G. The spill made a big. Ooh, what do you think the next word's gonna be? Listen, whisper, tell somebody. Yeah, the spill made a big mess. That's gonna be our next word. Mess. I have to do a horizontal line. I have to do it underneath because I don't have enough room. The spill made a big m. m eh, eh. What letter makes the eh sound? Yeah, e. M, eh. S. Mm -hmm. S. And there is not one, but two S's in mess. Would you please write two S's after your E? And we need some purple punctuation because this is going to end our sentence. I'm not only going to do a purple period, but I'm going to put a line above that purple period because this made a huge mess, a big mess. What punctuation is that? Yeah, an exclamation point. I'm gonna put an exclamation point with my purple marker because it made a big mess. We are going to write one more sentence after this. Our first word is the word will. We've seen this first grade word before. W-ill. Oh, we've also seen this word before in our ill family word book this week. I totally forgot. Will is a ill family word, and will is also a first grade word. Would you please write the word w ill after your purple exclamation point? Will. Oh, and we know the next one. It's a kindergarten word. The word you. Will you. Mine looks like this. Well, there we go. Will you? Our next word is the word L O P. L O P. What word is that? L O P. Tell me. Help. That's right. H E. Yep. O. Mm hmm. Help. Beautiful. P. Help. And our last word. What's your guess what our last word is? Mm hmm. There's a couple of good guesses. Me. Will you help me with your space bar? I barely have enough room I can fit me on there. M. E. M. E. And we need a purple punctuation. Is that going to be a period? No, you're right. It's going to be a. Backward C, 
Ooh, I can barely fit this. Backward C, line down, and a period underneath, or a dot. Let's read it all together. The spill made a big mess. Will you help me? Will you help me? Very nice. Please take out your red kindergarten marker crayon. I see a couple of kindergarten words. In fact, I see four. Will you underline those? The A U me. Four kindergarten words. Will you take out your orange? Because we know what was the word, what was our ill family word that we had that was on Tuesday? What word was that? It was the word will. Will you underline, oh, will you underline the word will with orange? Thank you. Beautifully done. Will, that's our first grade word. And we also have three second grade words to underline. Would you take out your yellow marker or crayon? We haven't underlined any second grade words yet this week. The first one is the word that we talked about. Oh, there it is. The word that we talked about that would spell mad if we didn't have the silent E at the end. What word was that? What word is that? Made. That's right. Will you underline that word with yellow? And then our next one that we are underlining with yellow is an ig family word. Will you underline the ig family word on your page? Yeah, big, big. Very nice. And our last one is the word p, e, o, p. What word is that? Help, that's right. Help is our last word. There's a lot of underlines on this page. We're starting to get to know all these words really well. Okay, ready? Let's read it all together now with all of our underlines. The spill made a big mess. Will you help me? Will you help me? Okay, so now with our pencils or your markers or crayons, however you, if you want to follow me, you can follow me. I'm going to draw a big mess or you can draw a big mess all on your own, a big spill. I'm gonna start out by drawing a table. I'm gonna make my mess on a table. You can decide where you wanna put it. I'm gonna start out by making a diagonal line kind of over to the side over here. I'm gonna make a diagonal line. I'm gonna make the table top. So I'm gonna make it kind of a square, but I'm gonna make it sideways so it's easier to see the table top where the spill was. Okay, so I made a diagonal line, and then I'm gonna make at the top corner, I'm gonna make another diagonal line kind of going up, slightly going up. Diagonal line, slightly going up. I'm making a square. You can make a rectangle, you can make an oval, uh, oval table, you could make on the floor, you got so many options. Okay, on the bottom here, I'm gonna make another diagonal line going up that's parallel to the one that we just drew, like that. Very nice, and then we're gonna connect these two lines here to make our square, but it's kind of, it, it's actually a diamond or a rhombus here. I could be wrong. I think it's a rhombus or a diamond. I know a diamond. And then let's draw our table legs. I'm going to draw my first table leg going down right here, just going straight down. Like that. Straight down table leg. That's the first corner. And then we need to draw a table leg here going down. And then a third table leg right here going down. And then this table leg back here, you can't really see the top of it, but you could draw a little line right underneath the square right here, and that can show kind of the bottom of that table leg. So you can't see through the table to see the full table leg, 
but you can kind of see the bottom. So I'm gonna draw, draw a little line in between these table legs. You kind of see how the, the tables, we're looking at it kind of like the bird's eye view. Do you remember when Michelle and Berger did the snowmen in December? We did the bird's eye view of the snowmen. This is kind of a bird's eye view of the table. You can see looking down our perspective is looking down at the table. Now you can draw whatever mess you want to draw on top of the table. I'm gonna let you be creative and decide what mess you wanna draw on the table. Have fun. I'll see you guys later.